a local hero who's traveled all the way from Waterbury to be here this evening. He's born in Connecticut. He's bred in Connecticut. He's one of your own. Give a big welcome for Mr. Eric Hall to everybody. Eric Hall! Yeah. some local news, and I'm going to give an update on that report, which is mostly centered around our new cross in Holy Land! Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you, you guys love it as much as I do. <laughs> well, we've just passed the one-year anniversary for the cross. Uh, it's a big deal. You know, the, the, the mayor gave some of his own private money, swear it wasn't siphoned off or embezzled from anywhere, <laughs> put that thing up, and it's back. And... Uh, can attest that the tourism in Waterbury has gone through the roof. <laughs> Maybe not, but there's other reasons to visit, visit Waterbury. Uh, yeah. uh, but you know, I, I was actually I went to New York for work yesterday. It was an early morning. I'm coming back late. It's 11 o'clock at night. 6:84 to 84. I'm driving, and it's just getting real tired. And you, your head starts to just kind of do one of these, and you catch yourself. But I was coming up between like. Exit 16 up that big hill, like Middlebury area, and I, I crest the hill, and off in the far distance, I see it. It's the cross. <laughs> no, I've done a lot of research. It's the, uh, it follows the liturgical calendar. It's pink right now. I thought it was breast cancer awareness, but it's liturgical calendar, so whatever it is, pretty soon will be psychedelic after a few drinks. <laughs> but uh, it's doing well, and it was like a beacon of light just calling me. It says, Eric, you're home. Here you are. And then I was awake, and I made it. So thank God for that cross. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the best thing is, uh, when I was doing my research on this, you could follow the cross on Facebook. Any followers of the cross on Facebook? <laughs> yes, one person. Not making you feel weird now. But no. What I think is funny is, uh, you see, on Facebook, the cross is much more interesting than my friends and family. So the, the cross will say something like, I had a great day today. I put on a new light. And I'm like, good job, cross. You go. It's the weirdest thing. So here we are following inanimate objects on Facebook. But that's OK. So I think this is a new trend, right? Because as people, you know, we have 500 friends. And we're like, we're so cool sitting in our bed at 9 o'clock on a Friday night. This is awesome. <laughs> So I think we're going to start following some more in inanimate objects. There's also fictional characters. I follow Buddy the Elf. Super funny. But uh, next up, I'm going to try to friend Kim Kardashian's ass. Just, uh, what did that thing do today? Like some updates on that. So it's for the cross, you know? So the, the bartending thing, this, this is cool. I get to work with people, and that's great, especially sitting at a desk all day. The thing is, like, I get to see your smiling faces or frowning faces, and I try to fix that. That makes me feel good. Something different. Imagine any other like desk monkeys here. Ah, oh, horrible. Yeah. You know? I mean, the only bad part is like, and I don't mind getting my hands dirty, but when I go home sticky and you spill some tonic on yourself, some orange juice, some cranberry juice, some soda, you're a sticky mess, and you reek like like a bar. 
you know, it's, it's not the end of the world, but I feel like I just walked out of Miley Cyrus's vagina. Like, I need a shower. It's horrible. Yeah. I don't know. That didn't go over so well, but um, guys, I'm nervous. I'm still nervous. I'm, I'm shaking harder than a Lindsay Lohan in a liquor store here. Just get it easy on me. You know, I, I like this. Good joke, bad joke. You know, people are like, don't use that one again. Thanks, guys. Right here, you know? We all go home to the same place after this. I'm glad you guys could be so honest. <laughs> I'll just let you guys tell the jokes. <laughs> uh, so, uh, the big news is uh, Bill Cosby, huh? Oh. Uh, yeah. So, it, uh, Turns out he's Irish. No, 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 of course not. <laughs> Imagine that. Imagine you started doing the Lucky Charms commercials. And that would be hilarious. But um, no, they, uh, they uh, finally arrested him after all these allegations. Ooh. You guys didn't see this today? No. Uh, serious. They arrested him and I said, the proof is in the pudding. <laughs> oh. Oh, <man. laughs> I love the commentary. Totally spitting in your drink after this. <laughs> never do that. Never do that. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, I think my time is is almost up. <laughs> We're happy about that. I want to give a shout out to uh, my friends and family who came out here to support me and all of my five minutes of fame. And I'm gonna put this up on on YouTube. It's gonna be you know after Justin Bieber and the getting them style, I'll be really high on the YouTube list and, and your last one they get there too, I'm sure. We're gonna go far. You know, first Waterbury, tomorrow, World. Nagatak. <laughs> Let's get some feel from Nagatak! All right, all right. <laughs> anyway, hey, you guys have been great. So, keep supporting Seven Angels Theater. We've got some professional comedians from places other than Waterbury who've done this many more times than me. And you're gonna love it. So hey, thank you. Have a great night. Take care.